Well, I said that 2021 had really big things coming for the GM Haunts YouTube channel, and I was not lying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of Saturday Straight Out of Storage. Today, for the first episode, we're taking a look at the Immortal Masks 2012 Green and Orange Zombie Mask and Sleeve Set. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of GM Han Saturday Straight Out of Storage. For this first episode of Straight Out of Storage, I wanted to start it off big, and I couldn't think of a bigger way of starting it off by going to the storage unit and picking up this absolutely amazing Immortal Masks 2012 Pure Silicone Green and Orange Zombie Mask and Sleeve Set. Obviously, this is an absolute amazing set from Immortal Masks that has been discontinued since 2012. And by starting off this episode and series with this, I think we are starting it off nice and fresh. So to start off this video, we're going to be, we're going to be talking about the sleeves from this set. So this is one of these sleeves from this Immortal Masks green and orange zombie set. As you can see, it is of, uh, is of a good size. If I hold it up sideways, you can kind of see it better there. I'll, I'll put in some uh, cinematics so you guys can see it closer. Uh, it has some white fingernails there. The detail on it is absolutely incredible. Again, I'm going to say that again, incredible. You have black marks all over the hands. You have veins on the front there. Obviously, you have that really nice uh, lime green kind of coloring. Uh, the nails do have some texture on them to make it look like they're kind of uh, uh, stuff growing all over them. Uh, they are pretty heavy because, again, the sleeves are also silicone to match with the mask, so they do have a really nice weight to it. Um, it's definitely, you cannot rip this even if you wanted to. Again, I really like how the veins kind of start to form more at the top of the hand there, and even on the palm, you have some pattern there to really make it look like a real palm, uh, which I really like. The fingers are longer than human fingers, and they do have the ability to bend, as you can see here. Uh, if I put it on, you'll actually see, oh, by the way, before, uh, if you take a look at that, you can see it good right there. That is how thick the sleeve is. It is a very thick silicone, and again, you're not going to rip it. Uh, let's see. As you can see, you can slide your arm in there, and you'll, you're, uh, you are able to control each finger up here because of the nice silicone. I am able to control each finger. As you can see, I could do whatever pose I wanted. You can close the hand. You can move the fingers. It is a very nice quality. Uh, and you can definitely keep this on for a long amount of time because they're not going to start sweating because, again, it is silicone. Uh, and it is decently cold in there. So I could definitely keep this on for an extended period of time. On the back of the arm here, there are uh, the same pattern with that black kind of veins uh, and everything. But again, I just want to express, I absolutely love the thickness and silicone material of the sleeves. It does match perfectly with that green color with the mask. So it will look really nice uh, if you're wearing this with the mask. Uh, and again, it's just, it just—it is very super, really nice quality from Immortal Masks, and it is—they uh, should bring this back definitely. It was discontinued, but if they brought it back, I think a lot of people would buy it. Uh, again, this was uh, an, a nine hundred dollars set uh, to get this sleeve and mask set. It was nine hundred dollars, but again, it is it's definitely worth it because it is such a nice quality. It's not going to break on you. The color is absolutely amazing. I really love that lime green color that matches with the mask there. And this is just an absolutely tremendous and incredible set of sleeves. One of the best that I've ever seen on any set of masks. Next up, next up, we're going to be taking a look at the big deal. We are going to be taking a look at the mask part of this lime green set. So the mask of this set is equally as amazing, I think. Again, it is it's going to have that same thickness that the sleeves had, maybe even a little thicker. Uh, if you look at it from the bottom, it does look like that, as you can see. It is green on the inside as well. Uh, as you can see, the silicone is green. But I can't, again, the detail on this is even better than I think, than the sleeves. Because if you take a look, it has that bright orange, vibrant color, which you actually can't even see that well on the camera. In person, it is a lot more bright. It does have the uh, ability to have mouth movement when you put the mask on. As you can see, the chin does go up and down. You have the really nice black shadowing around the eyes to kind of create the zombie-like look. 
The side has some more orange kind of dripping out of the head there. Again, I have my hand in here and it is super heavy, this mask. It is made, it feels like it's made out of dough because of that really nice silicone. He has that kind of really detailed skeleton nose. You have all these black markings around the mouth. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this mask is that the orange actually does kind of uh, chip to make it look like it's peeling off the face, which I really like. You have some paint on the ear there. There's less on this ear, but there's definitely some paint on that ear. Uh, towards the bottom and neck of it, which again, this mask does have a neck to it, you have some more orange dripping down. You do have that black texturing to create kind of a bone feel, like a zombie. The back of the mask has the same texture that the sleeves have with that black, uh, with the black markings. And it even seems to have a kind of, uh, uh, kind of vertebrae neck kind of thing here going on. Uh, as you can see with these kind of bones coming down from the head. You have a kind of, where it looks like he kind of got shot in the head in the back there. And on the face here, you kind of have two bones sticking out of the face, which I absolutely, again, this is just an incredible set. Uh, and the mask is really, really nice. Uh, the ears do have a lot of detail with black paint to actually make it look like they are real ears, which is very, very nice. Top of the head has that same green texturing with the black veins. Uh, but yeah, I do really like how at the neck, you have all that black uh, texturing that makes it look like bones. And again, this is just an amazing mask. Uh, and this is probably worth the $1,000 just by itself for this because this is an absolutely incredible mask. And again, I did mention in the beginning um, that it is a blacklight reactive mask. I might put it in front of my blacklight and get you some demos of that. Uh, it will glow in the blacklight because that uh, really bright orange and green color, which I think is absolutely incredible because... Uh, it, it looks amazing when it's under a black light. But yeah, this is a really cool uh, set of colors as well. I really like the design on it. I love how they went for that lime green and lime orange. Very creative coloring on this one. And I absolutely love this mask. So that is going to wrap up me taking a look at the set, and uh, the set, the mask and the sleeves from this Immortal Masks 2012 green and orange zombie. Again, I am going to be showing you some cinematic clips throughout the video. But uh, that is going to wrap up the video, so let's cut to the outro. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everyone who watched this video so, so much for tuning into the first episode of GM Han's Saturday Straight Out of Storage. Again, I got some really cool episodes planned for the rest of Saturday Straight Out of Storage. You're definitely not going to miss them, so stick around and subscribe. There is some amazing stuff coming. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Han's. I'll see you guys later for more Saturday Straight Out of Storage. Goodbye.